Alright guys, welcome to your last tutorial on the CSS box model and the last element that we have to cover is the margin. Now the margin is the area outside the border and outside the padding. It's the area basically that surrounds the entire element. So let's go ahead and um, let's go ahead and actually make some paragraphs. That'll probably be the easiest to see. So paragraphs actually have margin by default, one of the few elements. So this is a paragraph. Make sure you spell that. <laughs> wow, I was pretty close actually. <laughs> so anyways, let's go ahead and paste that and uh, actually we probably should add a background color. So P background color and just make it orange or something nothing too light nothing too dark just right and I'm talking about orange yeah and check it out this is apergrafta and this is apergrafta so as you can see by default it has probably I don't know how how tall is my mouse cursor probably like 10 or 15 pixels or something so by default paragraphs have a margin between them but what are we saying alright I wrote this sweet article and I I made it into a couple paragraphs, but I either think it's too much or I want to tighten the paragraphs up so they're closer together. Well, in order to do this, you need to play with the property called margin. Now, the margin, like I said, is a space around each of these paragraphs. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Just like the um the padding, that's what I was trying to think of. You can either play with margin in one of two ways. You can either change it overall or you can change it individually. So let's go ahead and the first thing I want to do is show you guys how to tighten up your paragraph. So if you want to tighten it up to like one pixel, just like that. If you set margin to one pixel on your paragraphs, it goes from the default, which is I'm going to say it's like 10 pixels by default, and it refreshes it. You now have a one pixel of space in between your paragraphs so that is a way to tighten up you can even even set it to zero if you want but then it wouldn't even be a paragraph at all it would just be like a line break so anyways um that is how you would do that now if you want to space it out even more i think it's like 10 or 15 by default so let's really stretch it out to like 40 pixels and you can either do that and now when you press refresh each of your paragraphs has 40 pixels surrounding it so I mean if you're going for that effect then that is what you do and what I want you to take notice of is that the padding does not change the padding and the border are staying the same it's the margin around it that is changing so that's the difference between the padding and the margin a lot of people get this confused um, just remember padding is inside the border margin is outside the border and you'll be fine you'll be way ahead of everyone else they'll be lost in the dark because they read books instead of watching my tutorials those idiots so like I said way before you can change margin in one of two ways you can either change it overall or I'm not even gonna go through this you can change it one side at a time like margin top spell that wrong top margin bottom margin right and margin left so I don't want to go through each one and show you because it's obvious just like padding what it does but anyways that is the difference between margins and padding and borders and overall that's called the CSS box model how you can play with different areas of an element basically so anyways now you understand the CSS box model we're ready to move on to another topic so anyways thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe if you have any questions um, just ask me on my forum and if I see it I'll answer if not trust me there's like 8,000 people willing to answer your questions for you so anyways one last time thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next video